best things about making movies with Benji is getting to travel around with him on personal appearance tours after the movies are made. We were in Europe on just such a tour when this little village in Switzerland invited us to be Grand Marshals of their Christmas parade. It sounded like a great side trip. So off we went to this wonderful little village in the mountains with snow and sleighs and jingle bells. And, and I remember saying at the time, there couldn't possibly be a more Christmassy place in all the world. Little did I know how right I was. Ich bin for the Benji Gruppe gekommen. Was auch Ihnen schnell zu machen, bitte. Benji's very own Christmas story. A holiday special by Joe Camp. And look at that face. <laughs> Welcome to Zermatt and a Merry Christmas to you. Thank you. Thank and may you. I say how privileged and proud we are to have you in our Christmas parade. And we are so happy to be here. Good. Are you a priest? Priest? I'd rather not. I am Chris Kringle. Chris Kringle? You don't look anything like our Santa Claus. Well, of course not. Chris Kringle is what Santa Claus looks like in Germany. Rather what Santa Claus used to look like in Germany. Uh, but there is a movement afoot to bring me back, exactly as you see me now. Bring you back to Germany with a British accent? Uh, well, um, as Chris Kringle, Santa Claus, and St. Nicholas, uh, I must endeavor to be everything to everybody, and uh, I should not be caught showing any favoritism in any one direction at any certain time. No, 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 yes, well, um, <clears throat> what accent would you prefer? An American accent. A Southern American, if my guess is correct. Texas. Texas. Well, I'm as happy as a hen on a June bug. Think you all came all the way from Texas? Which reminds me, I have some friends who would sell their boots, sell their boots to see Benji, but they can't come to the parade because they're working. So, I wonder if we could go there before the parade starts. Only take a few minutes, I assure you. Are you sure we'll be back in time? Oh, absolutely more! Hello, Miss Old Fong! What did say? <laughs> That's the slightest. Yeah. Okay, Santa, hey, okay, Santa. Both venues, the common trail. Uh, not in Russian, my dear. Oh. What does it mean in Russian? Hmm? Absolutely nothing. Ah. Hold it off. This way. <coughs> hurry, hurry. You haven't much time. Now, come along. Now, come along, my dears. We must not dally. Where are we? Ah, where are we? Yes, well, somewhere exactly between here and there which is halfway between sooner or later, and very nearly up and down. Now, do come along. We haven't much time. Hi, boss. I'm afraid things aren't working well at all. But they simply must. We have no choice, you know. Do come along. This way. Ah, thank you so much for coming, Mrs. Garrett, Miss Smith. We all love Benji so much. But then what difference does love make if the boss doesn't go? It's all for naught and naught for all. <laughs> Have you never seen an elf before? <laughs> now, do come along, please. We really must hurry. Well, I'm afraid we're a little confused. Oh, that's certainly nothing to be afraid of. We all get confused because it's a confusing world. Not just here, but there. Though it shouldn't be, but it is, isn't it? Or is it? But where is here? Where is here? Oh, well, yes. Um, where would you like it to be? 
Switzerland, Texas, the North Pole. What? <laughs> uh, please, don't confuse us any more than we already are. We would just like to know what's going on. My dear man. Look out beyond! Oh, dear. Whatever it is, is obviously not going very well. But I'm sure they'll be ready in time. You see, my little people are going in my place this year. Going where? Everywhere. You see, I fell into a bit of bad luck. And I doubt that I could get down even the largest of chimneys with this. Look out! <laughs> if you can't handle a sleigh by itself, how is he ever going to handle it with flying reindeer? Flying reindeer? Oh, no, no, no. Not always. Uh, I have several modes of transportation. In some countries, I ride a camel. A camel? Yes. Sometimes it's a horse. Or a donkey. Oh, believe it or not, in England, I ride a white goat. A white goat? In England. Do you get the feeling he wants us to believe he's really Santa Claus? My dear, I only want you to believe one thing, and that is that we're very late. And if we don't hurry along, you'll miss the parade. So do come, please. Uh, but where are your reindeer? Reindeer? Oh, uh, oh, there they are. But that looks like a bird cage. Well, of course, we must keep the lid on them somehow. They have a tendency to flit about, you know. Well, where's Rudolph? Rudolph? Oh, I'm afraid he's in the shop, getting his batteries recharged. But Dancer? Well, that's not a problem. Out again. Oh, dear. Get Cupid out here and let Blitz and nuzzle her ear. That'll get him down. Dancer's a very jealous reindeer, you know. I don't believe this. But you're supposed to be at the North Pole. Why, why aren't you at the North Pole? Ah, uh, well, we were, actually, for a time, but it's frightfully cold up there. And this is so much more centrally located. Well, where's your red suit in the United States? Santa Claus wears a red suit. Does he? <laughs> of course I do. It's right there in the wardrobe, which, incidentally, is our first stop. But several years ago, my parents told me that he... <laughs> I know. So did mine. I want you to meet the elves who make all my different outfits. How many outfits do you have? How many what? Oh, I'm afraid I have no idea. You see, people in different countries all think of me in different ways. So I have to be different. That is to say, however they want me to be. Now, where could those two be? Needles! Pins! I have a surprise for you! A surprise? Don't tell me. Your leg is healed and you're making the Christmas Eve trip yourself. And we can stop working 24 hours a day making clothes for Santa Claus substitutes. Right? Wrong. I have brought someone to see you. What do you think? Well, the one on the left will do OK for Scandinavia. But the one on the right... Mm, I don't know. Maybe Iceland? Well, let's get to work. No, 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 no. Not them. That is to say, I did bring them, but them is not who I was talking about. I mean, them are not who I was uh, talking about. Um, I mean... Oh, we know what you mean. But we still don't know who you're talking about. Oh, I think he's talking about Benji. Benji? Yes, that's it, of course. Benji! <laughs> Benji in person. Or should I say, in Dogson. <laughs> No, I suppose not. What a pleasant surprise to get a surprise from the boss. It's really a surprise. Yeah, it's really been the pits around here since the boss broke his leg. You came just at the right time, Benji. Oh, well, thank you. Now, for that, you get a special Christmas present from Needles and Pins. Now, let's see. Oh, how about this? This is the necklace the boss used to wear in Turkey. Well, it's gorgeous, but it looks very expensive. Why don't you wear it anymore? Oh, overkill. It's a bit gaudy with white. You wear white in Turkey? Of course. Would you like to see the whole outfit? 
Yeah. Needles, pins. It's quite spiffy, actually. There. Much better without the necklace, don't you think? And this is how I looked in Saxon England. Korea? And the good old USA. I'll be back in about two or three minutes. this in the States? That's not the question. The question is, will they buy this in the States? Yes, well, uh, interesting, don't you think? For the first time, my little people are going to get to experience firsthand all the problems of running around the globe, delivering presents, changing wardrobe in every country. Changing wardrobe in every country. Dear, oh dear, it'd be so much easier if everyone liked the same me. But I suppose if it was the same, it wouldn't be the same, would it? Or would it? I don't know. Anyway, I hope you'll excuse me while I change back into my most comfortable self. Carrying all this extra weight gets to be quite tiresome, you know. There. That feels much better. I think you forgot something. Hmm? Well, nobody's perfect. Whatever is that? This is your wardrobe from Cabrera. But it's getting terribly old-fashioned and dull. So we thought it was time to move out, move out, start a new trend, so to speak. It's new. It's now. It's different. It's you. But the excitement starts slow and builds up. First, we add a little flush to the old tunic, broaden the shoulders, drape the sleeve longer. And next year, we get rid of that hood. Pass I did. Out of touch. Do you know what I mean? Turn it into a collar that means something. And those pants. Where did we get those pants? Out, for sure. We add these out of sight boots, top it off with a scarf, and you're letting them know where they're at. They'll love it. Trust me. What do you think? I hate it. See? It's awful. I told you you'd hate it. Get it out of here. Simple styles are in, not that glitter rock stuff. And since the boss ain't going, I'm the one that's got to wear it. Then you're really not going on Christmas Eve? I'm afraid I have very little choice in the matter. <laughs> but it can't not go. Children all over the world are going to be counting on you. My dears, oh, my dears, right. most of my elves have been with me for centuries. And I'm sure they'll do just fine. I hope they'll do just fine. And you can go south of the Stendy line, and you arrive right here. But how do you get to all those places in just one night? Oh, yes, well, uh, of course, it's not like the old days. No, in the old days, we used to fly by the seat of our pants. Now, there are so many more people to cover, I couldn't possibly do it without CPAC. 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 Oh, Christmas Eve planning and communications. Um, here we receive radar, weather satellite, political and traffic information from all over the world. Our computers can re-plot my route at a moment's notice and instantly notify me and the network of reporters who make up a communication system that spans the entire globe. I still don't understand how you do it all in just one night. Yes, well, uh, of course, it would obviously be impossible if I were to do it in a standard 10 or 12 hour night. But if my route is plotted correctly and I travel in the right direction, I have a full 24 hours of night. 24 hours? I couldn't possibly do it in any less, could I? If you'll just step over here, I'll explain how it works. Sun, please! Oh, <laughs> now. If I travel in this direction, and the world travels in that direction, and the sun stays there, 
Well, I'm so sorry. I do see that you find it very difficult to understand. It's a very complicated theory, and it takes an awful lot of time to... Uh, and time is what we have not got a lot of, because we must get back to the Great Hall before the parade. Ah, good. Just in time for mail call. Come along. Now, this... This is where it all happened. This is where Christmas really begins. But these elves all look like they're from different countries. Can you think of a better way to handle it? The elves from each country get the mail from their own country. They sort it, fill the orders, and prepare them for delivery. Then they serve as an advance party. They go back home to arrange routes and schedules ready for my arrival. Why, that is some organization. Yes, indeed. Attention! Attention! Attenzione! Now hear this. We have a special guest for you today. Yes. We know you're all busy working and you can't go to the parade in town. So you might like to come here and meet the parade marshal, the famous movie star, Benji! However do you keep up with it all? Oh, that's easy. I'm just what people think of me. I am a, a multiplicity. A what? I am a multiplicity, a splitted personality. I'm more than one and even more than two. I'm just what people think of me and that's what I must always be. So think of me, please, kindly when you do. I change my size and shape and style to fit each size and shape of child. Wherever they may be, you will perceive I must know all their names as you know who's to blame. If anyone's left out on Christmas Eve Just what I may appear to be Depends on nationality Which never is the same And that is true
Claus or Kris Kringle or, or whichever you want to call yourself lie about having a broken leg. Yes, well, um, when you seize it, for once in my life, for once in all my hundreds of years of life, I just want you to be like everyone else in the world. I just want you to be at home on Christmas Eve. Well, I never thought that... I mean, I never realized that you had... The truth is, I was just being selfish. I mean, you're what Christmas Eve is all about. You spent your whole life making Christmas Eve something for people to look forward to. If anybody in the whole world deserves to be home on Christmas Eve, you certainly do. I've never seen anyone so at home with strangers. I don't understand it. I do. Where is your home, anyway? Home. Home, Cindy. Is wherever someone loves you. <laughs> I've always been home on Christmas Eve. I have a million homes all over the world. Quick, everyone, back to work. We mustn't let anything stand in the way of me being in all my homes on Christmas Eve. Does that mean you're going? Of course I'm going. I'm going to be in every one of my homes on Christmas Eve, and that includes yours, and you can count on it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to you, it looks as if it's going to be Christmas as usual, eh? And you, ladies, needless to say, your visit has been quite productive. And we all thank you very much. Thank you for bringing us here. Yes, this has been quite an experience. I can't wait to get back and tell my friends about it. Oh, tell your friends. <laughs> I do apologize, but I'm afraid that will be quite impossible. You remember almost nothing of your visit here, except, of course, for a rather special, warm feeling. You see, where we are must be kept a secret, or we'd never get any work done. But it's important that people know you're here. No, Cindy. It's not important that they know I'm here. Just that they know, as you know, that I am. Now off you go. But how will they know what I know if I don't know what I know? I'm afraid I don't know, but I do know that it's almost time for the parade to begin. So I'm glad you're back. I'm Herbert Ingle, the parade master. And you must be Fraulein Garrett, and Fraulein Smith, and Herb Benji. What a wonderful disposition for a movie star. And what a beautiful gold color. Did you get this for Christmas? Nobody's perfect. <laughs> <laughs>